It's Nicole. I'm back again with another work book, Work Shelf Wednesday. And this week, I just wanted to show you that I'm updating my kindergartner's learning notebook. Here's his learning notebook, and we do classical conversation. So I've been making notebooking pages for that. Um, when I get them perfected, I will actually have them up on the blog um, in a PDF format but they're very straightforward and he gets to color and write and um, just get his memory work down with those. So as usual with his learning notebook, he has his, he's tracking his 100 days of school. I'm getting ready to update this notebook for October for the weather. So our weather chart is done and we'll be doing a big weather graph of the month of September today. And again, I always have his um, Latin verbs or nouns or prepositions or whatever we're doing that week, as well as his states and capitals that he matches up. And, you know, same format, his, sorry, I'm sick, um, skip counting mazes. This week we're doing nines and tens. So that's a laminated skip counting maze um, that I got from Confessions of a Homeschooler. And they come, I think, up to 12, from 2 to 12. So... He does that. But I recently printed out this elementary daily learning notebook for him from Confessions of a Homeschooler. I'm really excited because he, I have a preschool one for my three-year-old and my kindergartner who he's, um, in terms of his reading, he's advanced. So I do a lot of elementary, first grade, second grade stuff with him because for reading, he, he reads really well. So I'm excited to do this for him because it's a little bit more challenging. Here we have what day is it? Um, what date was it yesterday? What date is it today? What day is it tomorrow? Then we'll write out the date, um, color the date of the day. Um, what's today's number? Um, what number is before today? What number is today? What number will be after today? And write the word of today's date. So this is good. Is today's number odd or even? Circle, odd or even. How many days have you been in school? Hundreds, tens, and units. Um, we're going to do a thermometer. What clothes are you going to be wearing today? So I'm really excited about this because um, time practice, what time was it an hour ago? What time will it be in two hours? How much money? If you can make the date of today in money, how much would it be? I think this would be a great challenge for him because he's incorporating skills that we did. We started building on last year and now he can review that and, and actually practice those skills every single day. Tally marks, how many days are in each month with tally marks, name practice, again I'm updating his 100 day school chart because it's falling apart, and we don't need September because we're done, so we'll be in October now, so I'm going to change this out, so pretty much... I love it. I I think this is great practice for him every day, especially when I'm caught up doing something with the littles and I just need him to do something, some busy work um, before I can do more hands-on things with him. So that's my update for my kindergartner's daily learning notebook. Okay, so over here I have um, what's going to be on the workshop or what is or has been, sorry, on the workshop this week. And I'm just showing you the um, activities that we've been doing. Uh, for my three-year-old, we've been doing another one of these paper strip puzzles. He loves them. Very simple. Again, another Confessions of a Homeschooler printable. I'll link her blog below. She has so many free resources. It's ridiculous. So this one, last week it was one, one through 10. This week it is 10 through 20. So um, he's been enjoying this. So he's learning, you know, to go in numerical order to complete this puzzle, H is for hippo. We've been focusing on the letter H and the letter H phonetically this week because he takes speech. He has a speech therapist come to the house every other week and we're focusing on the letter H from our last session. So I decided to continue on with H's because he totally chops H's off of his words. He'll say hippo, not hippo or at instead of hat. So we're really focusing in on H's for him. So he's three and he turned three in June. So he, he's still, you know, he's an early three year old, <laughs> still getting them speech issues resolved. Um, 
This, again, another Confessions of a Homeschool Printable. I think it was in the bottom of another activity. It says just my name. You can make this yourself. You don't need to print this offline. Very simple. My name, laminated. Okay? Then I used these letter from a letter puzzle, chunky letter puzzle, and I have my two and three-year-olds say, okay, spell your name. I put the letters out there for them, okay? More so for my two-year-old because my three-year-old, he understands how to spell his name. Um, because this is um, laminated, it's also a dry erase surface, so you can just simply have your child write their name repetitively on this just to get that practice. But for my two-year-old, it'll be like, okay, it's K, A, L, E, B for Caleb. So I spell my, my Caleb is a Caleb with a K. <laughs> so he's learning that. So he's understanding the letters in that are in his name and the order that they go in with this. And it, you know, we, he can do this over and over again. We just scramble him back up and I, you know, he just puts, most of the time he's wrong right now. But <laughs> again, he turned two in uh, July 28th so he's a new two so he's getting his life together in terms of of that but he enjoys this and he's learning how to spell his name here's another free printable again I'll link it um, in the description box very simple just okay for my three-year-old lowercase letter recognition practice and and phonetics and pronunciation so what are these these are turtles T is for Turtle, where's the T? You know, and he'll put them where they belong. Hippo, h h hippo. Oh, that starts with an H. Apple, ah, ah, apple. Apple starts with an A, you know, and we'll do this. And these are the ones, and I have more cards, but these are the ones that we're focusing on this week, especially because we got, you know, hippo. Get that H going. Over here is his word box, my three year old, and again, these cards are free, online resources on mommyspeechtherapy.com. I simply printed these out, and I didn't even really laminate them. I used tape, box tape, packing tape to laminate these. And if you don't know how to laminate with packing tape, maybe I should do a video. But it just saves you so much money, and these things are super sturdy. And simply, we just go over these, and I... I, you know, t help, help him take his time to pronounce the H's. And when he's done, he just drops it in his word box. And there's something about the fact that the words are in the word box or it's just amusing to him. I don't know. But <laughs> he likes that. So this is a wipes box. Levi's word box. Very simple. This week for my two-year-old, we're focusing now on the colors. Because I think it was overwhelming for him to do multiple colors at a time. So I made some red rice this week. And everything in this bin is red. So he's getting shapes practice because he's digging through here. He's getting some sensorial stimulation. Um, we have, you know, red triangle. Ooh. Red rectangle. Red square. Red arch. So pretty much I got these blocks from um, Goodwill. They come in, I think, a variety of colors, as you can see here. And I got them for like $2 for like a whole bunch of them, which is a steal. And simply he's getting to be able to just focus on the color red this week and also practice his three-dimensional shapes. So next week we'll have a green box with green rice. And then we'll have a yellow box with yellow rice and yellow things and blue and blue. And you get the point very inexpensive to do here for my three-year-old and for my kindergartner we do this together we're doing time so I just simply have about I have a whole bunch of these but what I do is I, I'll take a dry erase marker and write you know 12 o'clock short arm you know long arm or six o'clock or whatever and I'll have them recreated on the big clock so we'll do about four or five different times that I'll write on here set it out before them and they take turns just, you know, readjusting the arms to make it match whatever it is that I have on here. So that's fun for everyone. And finally, for the two and three year olds, very simple, colored cardstock, big letters, and they go to town with the paint on here. So again, they are practicing, they are practicing um, their 
you know, fine motors, staying in the lines because this is a narrow tip, staying in the lines, staying on the black line and doing these letters. So we've been only doing letters that have pretty much practicing writing letters that have straight lines like L, E, V, and I, which spells one of my son's names, and um, F, T, and H. So pretty much those are the letters that we're focusing on right now with handwriting without tears. So my three-year-old did his name, he did the L, E, V, and I, and, you know, again, the fine motors, the concentrating, the staying on the black line, staying on the black line, and just helping him perfect that. Of course, you have some mistakes, <laughs> but for the Bozal part, he did okay with that. So these are just some really inexpensive, fun activities that I'm doing with my kids this week. Um, take advantage of free resources, people. I'll definitely link them in the description box below. Have a happy Wednesday.